All right, I'm here with Coach Rob Murphy after tonight's huge win against Central. Thanks for joining us, Rob. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, a uh, huge performance tonight from Carrington Moore, 18 points, especially after his struggles in the last game. Tell me about what he did tonight. Well, I thought uh, he looked for a shot. I thought um, Darrell Combs uh, came into the game and gave us a huge lift off the bench. Uh, and in his play, within his play, he did a great job of finding guys. I thought he did a great job of finding Carrington when he was open. Uh, Carrington played with a little more confidence tonight and believed in his shot, opposed to hesitating. So it was good for him to see the ball go through the hoop, and it was good for him to score some points to know and understand that we need that from him moving forward. Uh, given, the guy, given you guys had two straight losses coming into the game, how huge was it to go back to the basics, playing the 2-3 zone, playing defense, and holding Central Michigan to 13 field goals? Uh, well, it always feels great when you win. Uh, you want to protect your home floor. Uh, we understood coming back home, we were on a three-game win streak in this building. Uh, last time we played here, we had won convincingly against Toledo. Uh, and we understand how important it is to protect our floor. So going into the game, we were extremely confident. Uh, we knew our defense, our length, our athleticism, and our size would bother them. Uh, and our forwards did a great job of uh, contesting shots and rebounding the ball. Our guards did a great job of keeping the ball out of the high post and re-stepping and cutting people off. So all in all, it was a great team effort. Obviously, you mentioned Carrington Ward. But I thought Darrell uh, was key coming off the bench, gave us a huge spark. Uh, I thought Deshante played solid. Glenn Bryan and Dalen were like glue, glass, glue guys tonight and made some things happen. Uh, so just moving forward, we want to continue to get better. Okay, staying with the team aspect of things, mm -hmm. I noticed that Raven Lee missed his first and only layup at the 19-minute mark, and I noticed mm -hmm. you took him out for Combs. Mm -hmm. Was it because of him not being in tune? Uh, well, I used that word in tune. Maybe that's why you <laughs> used it. Um, <laughs> But uh, Ray came down and uh, on the first defensive possession, he gave up a three-point shot. And it's something we uh, drilled in the last two days of practice. Uh, we knew what they were going to come and do. Uh, and I take defense uh, very seriously. So if you're not going to play it, especially to start the game, to start the tone, uh, I felt we needed to get someone else in. And Darrell came in and did a great job. And uh, from there, we, uh, we played well for the rest of the game. A huge turning point in the game happened to be at the end of the first half, at the beginning of the second half, when Chris Fowler made back-to-back three-pointers. You guys were able to, you know, fight back and be able to go on a huge run and put Central away for all intents and purposes. Yeah, well, we came out and, and we uh, took a couple of bad shots to start the half. And anytime you take bad shots, uh, people on them they get easy looks because they can get out of transition and our zone is not set. But I think when we settled in and we were able to execute our offense and get some guys some open looks. Uh, and see it go through the basket, it allowed us to get back. And defense becomes uh, tougher on the opposing unit when you're not scoring. So as long as we could keep them at bay uh, and keep scoring, we knew it would get tough, and that's what happened. Okay, heading into March, the calendar turning, you guys have the rematch with Northern Illinois on Saturday. Obviously, you guys lost in double overtime last week to them. What are you looking to do to make adjustments for that game? Uh, well, you always look at the bottom line. Uh, you want to win the game. Uh, we didn't play well down there, especially offensively. Some of it was us, some of it was Northern. Uh, but I think we'll execute better. Uh, we'll continue to play uh, stifling defense. Uh, and that's what we've done all year. Uh, and we're at home. We're looking to protect our home floor. They're a very good basketball team uh, that's on the rise. Uh, and they play extremely well game to game. But at home, uh, we're trying to win out here. Uh, and it's important for us to get the victory. So we're going to do everything we can in preparation to, uh, to win the game. All right, thanks and good luck on Saturday against right. Norman. Thanks for having me.